Hey there guys, welcome back to another video of all things Apple Plus. All right, so we have a, a little bit of, I'm a little bit late to the party, a little bit late to the game, but I wanted to g post out this video about getting your Chimera jailbreak, actually updating your Chimera jailbreak from 1.0 or from 1.0.2 or 1.0.2 or anything that you might have below all the way up to 1.0.6. Currently there was a jailbreak or there was a current update to the Chimera jailbreak that's very necessary and I think it adds a little bit more stabilization, it adds a little bit more features to your device that may have been hindered in the past. So I mean, we're gonna get into those in a little bit, but you can download the new update via their IPA or in, and installing it via City Impactor or if you go to Tweakbox or Ignition or to App Valley, you can also download it that way. So through Tweakbox, I'm gonna show you guys through that way, you can navigate over into their page and you'll notice that they have the actual 1.0.6 application for you to install. It's not that big of a file, it's about 20 megabytes, so it's pretty pretty easy to just download and just run from there. So if you've had the jail, if you've had the Chimera jailbreak before, you just know to un just to open up the application, hit the jailbreak button, uh, hit the jailbreak button and then go ahead and jailbreak at that time. Now before you do that, before we do anything actually, I want to talk to you guys real quick about Rocket Bootstrap in Cilio. Make sure that you have updated this to 1.0.7. This is the newest uh, version of Rocket Bootstrap. If you haven't already checked out Celio uh, over this weekend and you're looking to update your jailbreak, make sure that you do navigate over to Celio and update that Rocket Bootstrap version. There should be a prompt for you to do that anyways. So if, like me, I've already downloaded and I've already updated uh, to 1.0.7. If you don't and you try running the jailbreak, I've known people that have had respring issues and they weren't and they're just their jailbreak is a little bit more wonky. So make sure that you guys do update that. Now navigating back into Tweakbox, we're gonna go ahead and download the Chimera jailbreak. Now from here again, 20 megabytes, not that big of a file. It's actually a really quick, easy download. And all you'll need to do is just make sure that you uh, download the application. And then we're going to show you guys real quick how to reboot, make sure that you guys do reboot your device and then jailbreak from there. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put this back on my home screen here. Good deal. I kind of have everything all set in the way that I love it. So I am just really so excited for this jailbreak. So anyways, let's go ahead and reboot our device. So if you guys need to make sure that you guys do reboot your device by either holding the power button and the up and the volume up button, or if you have an app like that I have here, the power application, you can also go ahead and reboot. Don't make, don't respring, don't re go into substrate mode, just reboot the device and then jailbreak immediately. Launch the application and then hit that jailbreak button and your jailbreak will go ahead and commence. And if you need, and if it, if it looks like your jailbreak didn't take into effect, just go ahead and respring your device and then you'll notice that the jailbreak, all your applications and everything will take into effect at that time. So we're gonna navigate into Twitter because after that whole tutorial is done, I actually do wanna show you guys the different types of bug fixes that it fix, that it works on, that it actually fixes. And then I wanna show you guys what new features have come from this update for the Chimera jailbreak. So, I'm going to navigate over to Coolstar and you know what, actually, you know what, let me navigate over into the Electra team's uh, Twitter handle and then make sure that you guys do follow Coolstar and then you also follow the Electra team. They are doing a, an amazing work and it's just, it's hard for these jailbreaks and for these, especially, it's, especially as iOS 13 is going to come out, we're going to see it, it's going to be a lot harder for jailbreaks to come out. So they're doing a, a huge work for the community. So make sure that you guys follow them and make sure that you guys ring that bell for notifications. Now for the uh, 1.0.6, you can see that there has been a lot of bug fixes from there. And then also if we scroll down to their main uh, where you can actually download the IPA, you'll notice that there has been some fixes for the camera application and then there has been some fixes for the mail application. So if your camera application has been closing out or if you've been having some issues with your mail application, those two things have been fixed as far as some other features that have been fixed. So there's just been a whole workaround. And then this past weekend too, there has there was a little bit of an outage on Apple's end. So if you were trying to download applications from Apple, you unfortunately weren't able to. I believe this was like s Saturday or Sunday in the evening that you weren't able to actually download any applications through the App Store. But now that, 
the electric team has actually come out and said that it has nothing to do with the camera jake jailbreak that is just an issue that was on apple's end but i hope you guys like this tutorial i hope you guys like this video if you have any questions concerns comments please let me know in the comment section down below please like comment subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next video peace Extra, extra, extra.